I thought we could have this talk kicked off with a, a nice melody composed by Air Raman sir, starting with the song Jia Jale and then to Barasore. And it goes like. So that is how everything started, right? So I thought I could, you know, make you sound, uh, I mean, make the flute sound a little more different. So I added some flavor called the beatboxing. So some beatboxing and flute together goes like, say, okay, I thought we could, uh, you know, tell you which, go, uh, which song I'm performing today. So the song Mukala Mukavula comes by Air Raman here. I thought I could add my beats to that. And it goes like, say, I thought I could take the tempo to the next level, you know, increase my beats and then play a little more faster with my flute. So some fast beats and it goes like, say. So this is how flute boxing was getting, you know, kicked off in India. So I thought, you know, let me get a Western flavor in this Indian instrument. So I chose, uh, you know, two songs composed by one of the best musicians in the world, Michael Jackson. So one of his favorite, or my favorite songs, the song Beat It, and then all I want to say that they don't really care about us. Goes like, say. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. I thought we could have this flute boxing act finished off with one, uh, you know, Indian flavor. So I chose the South Indian music composed by Anirudh, a song called Aluma Doluma. And it goes like... <laughs> Thank you so much. Today I'm going to be talking about three important things in an artist's life. That is talent, passion, and profession. Well, the first thing very important for an artist is to identify the hidden talent inside him. And so did I. And then the next thing is to be passionate about working hard on the talent and then, you know, achieving a lot more with your talent. And then one fine day you take it up as a profession and then you are a so-called artist. But you know what? It is not so easy to be called that. The life of an artist, when you take it up as a profession, is very hard. Well, the reason why others do not want to take up their talent as a profession is because of the obstacles. When I talk about obstacles, I'm not going to be telling you guys about money. I'm not going to be taking the risk. I'm not going to be saying that, oh, you know what? I have to prove myself to my parents. I'm an engineering student, and I have to go to an IT job or whatever it is. No. The first obstacle all the others who do not want to live up to their talent as a profession is the, artist in, is the artist himself. When I say the artist himself, I really mean the things, the qualities that an artist have inside him. What makes you an artist? Practice, dedication, hard work, and smart work. As simple as that. So my advice to you people is stay you know, calm, composed, have a lot of patience in your hard work, and then one fine day, you can actually become the master in whatever you practiced you know, for so many years. Irrespective of whatever talent you are, you're a cricketer, you're a footballer, you are whatsoever, do something innovative with whatever you are. Don't just be another dancer, don't just be another singer. Because you know, smart work can be you know, appreciated no matter what stage it is. If you're unique, the crowd will really love you. And so did I. So the next thing, you know, uh, uh, like, most of the people, uh, I mean, I got a lot of messages and uh, you know, emails after my previous talks saying that how do we manage two different talents when you're talented in two different things? So when I say, if you imagine you're talented in music and then sports, well, yes, I am talented in two different uh, things. I am talented in music as well as in you know, soccer. I represented India in Nema Junior 5 World Finals last year. It was a proud moment for me to represent India there. Before I could finish off my talk, I thought we could have a small performance of uh, harmonica beatboxing done. That is a new act that I introduced next on stage. I'm going to add another instrument to my beatboxing called the harmonica. So before I could, uh, you know, wind up this speaking part, I would love to say one thing that, you know what, trust in God and work hard and rest would follow. Before I could, you know, have the harmonica beatboxing done, I thought I, I have to show you guys where all of this started. Back in 2012, as I was introduced as a beatboxer on stage, you know how it sounded? It goes like, say, <laughs> You guys like this? Yeah? <laughs> Okay, I thought I could have some techno music put down. And it goes like, say. So, you know, we're not going to be beatboxing all this Western music today. I thought we could show you guys some Indian, starting off with the north of India, some Bangra in the house, and it goes like, say. <laughs> the next 
stop off to north of India was somewhere in midst in Mumbai. Met this hot lady called Sheila. Everyone knows the song Sheila Ki Jawani, yeah? <laughs> this beat of Sheila Ki Jawani goes like, say, what's my name? What's my name? What's my name? My name is... <laughs> Next stop was in South India, one groove that everyone loves to dance, and it goes like, say, So that is how my beatboxing was kicked off. That is where everything started. That was a scratch. So coming down to the harmonica beatboxing, it goes like, say. we can have this uh, finished off uh, if you guys are ready to perform with me. Are you guys ready to perform with me? Yes? All you have to do is just, you know, clap, okay? And I'll give you the count. And the count goes like, say, Thank you so much.